another one. So today we are decorating my kitchen for Halloween. It is time. Uh, and before we get into this, I wanted to mention the sponsor for today's video, which is Squarespace. And I'll talk more about Squarespace at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that if you want to know more about Squarespace. Uh, but we're going to jump right into this decorating video. We're going to do a vlog style. So us just hanging out decorating together. This is our first Halloween decorating video. It is our first stop this year. And in the kitchen this year, I wanted to do a full on Halloween in your face. Halloween exploded in my kitchen is what I want it to look like. So we're gonna do a lot of jack-o-lanterns, fall leaves, ghosties, uh, all that kind of stuff. And over on the Facebook group, if you're in the Halloween Forever Facebook group, if you're not, I'll link it in the description box for you. Uh, but over on the Facebook group, uh, somebody posted their Halloween kitchen. I think the name of the Instagram is Glass Manor or Glass Dot Manor or something like that, if I'm remembering correctly. But anyways, they had posted a photo of their kitchen over on the Facebook group, and I was so inspired. So if it's you out there, if you're Glass Manor out there, I was so inspired by your kitchen decor. And mainly, the main inspo I got from it, there's a whole fall vibe on top of the counter, or not counters, cabinets. Like on top of the cabinets, there's a bunch of leaves and decorations. And I was just all excited because I have space above my cabinets to do that, to decorate there, and I just have never done it. And, oh, okay, my dishes are done. Thanks for the song. But I'm all excited to put the stuff on top of the cabinets this year. So we're gonna start there, and I'm gonna start with the fall leaves. Let, let, me, let me show you. I got this stuff from Michaels and I bought it on sale. And okay, those of you out there that are like, ghoul, you should have gotten it from Dollar Tree. I know, I looked at the ones at Dollar Tree and it looked like a string with like one leaf on it. And I need some real orange, yellow, redness, like real lots of leaves. Anyways, we're gonna take these packages off. Well, I guess I should see if they're gonna work first of all so I can return these in case they don't. Um, but I guess I could use them for something else if not. But what did you, um, if you decorated your kitchen, did you do a theme or is it just Halloween in general themed or I don't know what's what I'm doing here. Um, or like what kind of theme did you do? Let me know. I don't know, does that look good? I feel like this isn't really showing. Like I kind of want some of it to kind of come off and some of it to kind of go back a little bit. What does that look like? Good? Does it look really good? I don't know, let's look. All right, that's what it looks like. I feel like it's not draping over enough. Like you can't really see it, can you? Oh God. Oh, we're running this over the top. Oh, ah! What the heck? I don't like this. And do that. Oh, that looks nice. Around the side. Anyways, I got some battery operated twinkle lights because I can't turn every little twinkle light on anymore. I used to do it. I did it until somebody literally, I'm so thankful for the spooky family always pointing stuff out. Cause like I, otherwise I would have gone through life just turning on every single jack-o-lantern, every single little twinkle light possible until I realized they have remotes you know, ones that you turn on from afar so I don't have to climb up and almost die every time I get on the counter and light up these guys. So I'm gonna put some of these twinkle lights in the one that doesn't light up. This is an OG Target jack-o'-lantern that didn't have any electronic devices or batteries basically to light it up. I'll link these in the description box for you because they're, what, how, does, how the heck? Anyway, putting this in the mouth of the jack-o'-lantern and then that way, I can light it up with the touch of a remote. Now we gotta put them up on top of the cabinets of doom, basically, is what we're putting them. But I don't know what I wanna put here yet in the center. The picture, the inspo picture had a sign there that was really cute, but I don't know that I have a sign or maybe I put something else there, like a, I don't know yet what we're putting there, but I think on the outer edges, we're gonna put some just regular decorations. So I wanna put some of these jack-o'-lanterns there. Is he cute? I might put this, oh God, making me nervous. Like, uh-oh. 
Well, let's move on to the other side, and then we'll figure out what's in between. Oops. Okay, what do we think? I have this little cute little mummy guy. He looks so cute up there, that little mummy guy. Does that look cute there? Do you like that? But I feel like we need a stand. I think it's cute. It looks really good. This might be too tall. Is that too much? Is that too tall? And then maybe we put something right here. Like there's a little bit of a space there. I don't know what yet. And then I think over there we can put a spooky house. This spooky house. I don't even know if you can see what I'm doing up here. Because, uh-oh. I'm just gonna bend down ever so slightly. I put the spooky house up there. I love that. Okay, there's definitely something missing. I don't know if I like that ghosty there. Do you like that ghost there? Or do we think another spooky house, like, make it, you know, me and my balance? I also have this spooky house right here. This one is from Michael's. The other one I have, uh, Voltaire sent us a couple years ago. It's a different vibe, but it's orange and it's a spooky house. And we still need something right here. But I feel like it looks really good. In between the house and the jack-o'-lantern, there's that dead space there. I wanted, no pun intended, <laughs> uh, but I was thinking this witch and then it's gonna need a pedestal. But I like to keep my old candle, like any candles I burned or even ones I haven't burned yet, and use these to kind of boost up different decorations, especially since on top of the cabinet, it kind of has this dip. Everything seems to look like it's sunken in. So I just took some museum putty. Where's my museum putty? I'll show you what it looks like this took some of this museum putty and then I stuck it on the bottom. I'll link it in the description box, but if you have cats or kids or you're afraid of something being knocked down, it's really good. Like, look at that. It's not doing anything. You don't see the base of this anyways. You're just gonna see her. So that the witch would go perfectly up there though. What do you think? All right, so up here I think I'm gonna do a jack-o'-lantern. Maybe just one jack-o'-lantern in the center since I can't get a whole lot up here. I feel like you need something else up there. Jack-o'-lanterns hanging out. But what's that big space in the middle, right? What's that about? I thought about putting this big cauldron there, but it makes me nervous to put it. I mean, we can try. But... not the worst I've ever seen. That little area is just hard to reach. We can always put some other things up there. Up here. That's kind of cute with the cats. Okay, now I'm gonna do the other one. We're going for maximalist Halloween over here. Anyway, we're leaving it for now. Ouch. I haven't dropped anything yet, knock on wood. And not even myself. Okay, it's between. This jack-o'-lantern lantern guy and this jack-o'-lantern cauldron guy. I don't know if that one's gonna work. Okay. What about this guy? Now what's next? Help. All right, we're moving on to here. Last little bit. This pumpkin guy, because it matches the other side. We're pretty much out of everything. <laughs> I have this cake stand, stand up there. This guy on the other side, the phallic one, dangly leg guy in the middle. That looks cute. Okay, I think I like that. I don't know what we're putting on the other side, y'all. All right, we're trying too hard to make this guy work. This guy here. I just feel like he doesn't really belong. We have this kind of bag thing. We got this guy, and then put something taller. This. Is that cute? The trick or treat. I can't believe we went through this whole thing without one branchy tree. Maybe we could add some. Oh my God, that could have been bad. 
No, but this guy here. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the rest of the kitchen, just the countertop area. Not really sure what I'm doing yet, but we'll get there. We'll just, we'll play around with some things, you know, we always figure it out. I do think I'm gonna move my coffee bar. I have a camera right here, sorry about that. I do think I'm gonna move my coffee bar, which is in the corner. I think we're gonna do this year. We're gonna do our very own special spooky coffee bar. It may end up being a coffee slash adult beverage bar, but I'm not sure if we can fit in both. So I think I'm gonna do the spooky coffee bar. I'm gonna do that for members. So if you're a spooky family member, uh, that will be up. If it's not up already, it will be up shortly uh, within the next couple of days. And then I'll do the full on spooky coffee bar. We'll put that together. Uh, and uh, if you're not a spooky family member, um, I'll have the membership down in the description box if you don't know what I'm talking about. It's basically like Patreon, but here on YouTube and you get a bunch of different perks. All right, so we're gonna move all this stuff out of the way and then we'll continue. All right, so I think we're gonna start here because I actually know what I'm putting here. But I'm gonna put these jack-o'-lantern head guys that I got from TJ Maxx last year. Uh, jack-o'-lantern head, witch hat, pedestal situation. I'm gonna put this next to the sink area. These were on the mantle for our halfway to Halloween mantle and they light up. So I feel like this is going to look perfect here. So we're going to put one on either side. Also, while we're over here, I'm going to put my Mrs. Meyers apple cider scent hand soap and the spray, the all purpose spray. This is my, um, it's not my favorite. My favorite is the orange clove. If you know, you know, orange clove. This is where our coffee corner was. There, I have a couple options. All right, hold on one second. I gotta go get them. One option is this big old jack-o'-lantern guy, which I kind of like. What do you think about the big old jack-o'-lantern guy? Which I really like him too, but that's kind of a big spot back there. So I feel like we might be able to put that jack-o'-lantern guy somewhere else. And I usually have my Amazon thing plugged in, so I'm gonna put that where it usually goes. I can put my black and white striped canisters, which I normally keep them there because I don't like keeping too much decor by my stove just because I don't want it to melt or get damaged or have any splatters or anything. I put this little ghosty guy here because he's close to the stove, but not too close to where anything's gonna get him. Maybe this tree, I don't know. Something's weird about this little Area. I feel like you need a jack-o'-lantern or something. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I like this. I just don't know how I feel about it there. All right, there's also this pumpkin head clown guy. Where are my other pumpkin head clown guys? I found my pumpkin head clown guy. I think it's kind of cute because it kind of looks like a circus, right? Maybe like that. And then something here. This guy's an option. Okay, another option is to put like a little sign I have this one that says, hold on, let me move this over a little bit. This says Hocus Pocus. I don't know. I feel like I just need to move on. Okay, then here, I love this witchy thing for just a little, like it's just like a little witchy silhouette. Maybe some branchy trees back there. Maybe if I put a branchy tree back here, it'll kind of, fill in some of that space back there. How does that look? Does that break it up a little bit? A little bit? Like that? Maybe another little ghosty over here. I don't know if we put a little cemetery here. And then we have our little spooky corner there. I feel like that's cute, that's cute. Okay, we're on to something now. I also have my little Joanna Parker salt and pepper shakers I got this year. Uh, from got these from home goods if you saw the haul and I kind of wanted to put them here Since it's kind of by my stove I can use them I feel like there's a lot going on, but I don't mind the Halloween chaos kind of like the Halloween chaos look I'm not gonna lie. All right moving on over here. This is how it is all year round with the skull guy. I like the skull guy but there's not a lot of color. And I feel like we need to bring the orange in. I can put this guy here, which I think he works there. I also thought about moving this guy somewhere else. And these canisters, by the way, are from Jonathan Adler. Um, but I thought about this guy, this 
But I can also do, to break it up, you can put the skull here. There's a spider carcass right there. I'll just let them rest there for aesthetic purposes. And then, there we go. We can kind of put them by the knives. And we could do a branchy tree. That's an option to kind of break it up. I can do a little bit of this. Just kind of pull in. I could do it that way. Or I can do these guys, which I think are kind of cute. These little jack-o'-lanterns. It pulls more jack-o'-lantern in. I feel like we're getting somewhere. All right, I think we're done. But we are done decorating. I'm so excited. All right, I'm gonna show what the kitchen looks like in the daylight so you can see everything what it looks like, what we did, all that kind of stuff. Then I'm gonna show it lit up at night and it looks so spooky. I'm so excited. This is off to such a good start. I'm feeling motivated, inspired. I can't wait to do the rest of the house. So stay tuned for more Halloween decorating videos. They're coming. Anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed decorating my kitchen for Halloween with me. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say, hey, well, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Anyways, again, I wanted to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. And if you haven't heard of Squarespace before, Squarespace gives people a beautiful and powerful online platform from which they can create their own websites where you can connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content. You can also manage your members, send email communications and leverage audience insights and all on a super easy to use platform. You can also create a community on your Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system System that allows you to comment, reply, like, and you can also use their powerful blogging tools, which allow you to schedule your posts, categorize your posts, also share them. Squarespace also offers Squarespace extensions, which just takes the whole Squarespace experience to another level. By using new third-party tools, it can help you manage inventory if you're selling things on your website, promote products, and streamline bookkeeping. You can also display your posts from your social media profiles directly on your website. If you're wanting to start your own website, whether you're starting a blog or maybe you're selling some products, uh, whatever it is that you need a website for, if you're wanting to try Squarespace, you can go to squarespace.com for your free trial. And then once you're ready to launch your website, you can go to squarespace.com slash Jade Libra to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So yeah, definitely check out Squarespace if you've been wanting to start your own website. Squarespace is really great, really easy to use. They have a ton of templates to go off of, tons of options to customize your website. So definitely check out Squarespace if you've been wanting to start your own website. Anyways, thank you so much much for watching and I will see you guys next time.